Facebook has just unveiled their first big gaming service called Facebook Game Room, and it's really their first big push into PC gaming. This service is going to have a variety of games from both the web and those natively built for the ecosystem, so it really could be sort of a competitor to something like Steam. With that said, I just wanted to go ahead and actually do a comparison between Facebook Game Room and Steam to give you my opinions on which one is better, so let's just go ahead and get started. So based on my initial impressions, it really seems like Facebook Game Room is basically Steam from 2009. This social network is starting small, games can't be any larger than 200 megabytes, and although Facebook is going to consider hosting games up to 500 megabytes on a case by case basis, that still really isn't that impressive. What it means is that rather than playing games like Rocket League and FIFA, you're going to be playing smaller fare like Desert Golf, which is only 1 megabyte in size. Game Room has been beta for quite a bit, Game of Dice came out last week, but this is basically the platform's big rollout and it's got a free client download for Windows 7 and above. There are games like Words with Friends, Trivia Crack, and Curiosity which you can play on here, but none of them work really well for PCs. They all really seem like games that are designed for mobile devices that Facebook is just porting to PCs to give their platform a bit more credibility. Other games like Scrabble just launch a web page within the program itself, and there's even a browser compatibility check. Finally, there's another type of game like First Person Shooter Critical Ops, which downloads 100 megabytes worth of files before it would even start. Game Room really does feel like something that's been gathering dust for a while. It's pretty clunky, and really there isn't anything worth playing on it. Given that Facebook is adamant about making sure everyone will be, you know, immersed in VR, the company does need its own way to sell games to people like you or me, but Game Room just doesn't seem like a that great of a system. The target audience for Game Room does seem to be people who play games on the web and on their phones, but even for these people, I don't really get why you'd be downloading Facebook's new service as opposed to just downloading another app in either iTunes or Google Play. Play. It just doesn't make a lot of sense because, you know, the vast majority of games in Game Room right now are really not optimized for PCs, and it just sort of makes the entire thing kind of redundant. But with that said, give me your opinions on Facebook Game Room in the comment section down below. Let me know how you think it compares to Steam. I definitely know I will not be using Facebook Game Room hardly at all. The only way Facebook Game Room really seems like it could improve for me is if it really starts to get some standout games designed specifically for the platform. But once again, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and with that said, I will see you next time.